Hi and welcome to vvvolleyball.com. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the A6 Gel Rocket men's and boys shoes and I'm here with NCAA champion from Lewis, which is pretty impressive, um, as well as two-time All-American Libero, Ryan Stunt. And uh, Ryan, initial first feels of these shoes? Um, yeah, they're, they're light, nice and kind of flat. Um, kind of built like the same as the A6 C1130B, I feel. It's they look very form. similar. Yeah, but uh, the, around the toe, they're, they're built a little bit differently, so okay, let's well, see how they feel. Let's try it. Nice passer. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I think they're the same as the uh, 1130s. I think I like the traction better from the 1130B as far as from the ASICs goes. But uh, So the traction was better, you feel like, on the other ones? Yeah, I did. They feel like it's a little, a little more slipperier. Um, but other than that, uh, I, li I like them. Okay, overall weight? Um, One to five? I had a, make them the same as the ASIC 730B. I think they're comparable in weight. So okay. I give them a four and a five. Okay, structure? Um, structure's good. I think that these are going to wear down a little bit faster than the 1130B or the Mizuno Tornado 4. It looks like um, it. It doesn't look like it's got the same level of... Yeah, I think that the, the material used around the toe is not as strong or as sturdy or as many layers, I guess. It looks like it, definitely. Yeah. Okay, flexibility? Um, flexibility is good, but... Uh, like we like we're talking about the the material around the toe is different, so there's definitely a different feel as when you're uh, getting more weight on your toe. You're saying it was like kind of a little you can feel it. Yeah, like you can the feel leather. the material, the leather kind of like it's not as forgivable as as the other material, so you okay. definitely feel a little bit. But I think as far as I'd say the 1130B is a one stop one step notch higher than the Gel Rocket for as far as, far as overall volleyball shoe. Okay, so it feels like that. So you feel like the 1130 are better than these? Yes. Okay, I well, do. that's good. Uh, traction? Um, yeah, like I said, I was kind of felt like I was slipping around just a little bit, so the traction wasn't as good as 1130B. Oh, wow. um, but if you're looking for a mid-price range shoe, I think that these shoes oh. will, will get the job done. Okay. Um, overall look? Um, I like the white on white um, with a little bit of black. Um, but they will get dirty a little bit faster, I guess. No, they they'll be black real quick. I'm sure there's some other color options that you can choose from. Yeah, you can see on the website the other color options. And then finally, overall. So you uh, rated what, the 1130Bs at, at three? And a half. Yeah, so I'm going to give these a three. Just one step below the A6 1130B. And, uh, but I definitely, I would definitely wear them if I had them. <laughs> okay, so if you are interested in more volleyball shoe reviews and other volleyball product reviews by the pros, Go to vbvolleyball.com or if you'd like to purchase these shoes or other volleyball shoes and other volleyball products, go to vbvolleyball.com.